Algebra 2 worksheet 32.2. Uh, this is a review for the constant quiz. Uh, and I'm going to do all of our brand new concept, concept 25, in this one video. Uh, starting with number one. Number one is asking us for the fourth term in the expansion of x plus 3y to the 14th power. And we're going with the fourth term. The first thing we really want to think about is the exponents. We know we're going to have two terms to some power. This x will go first. This 3y will go second. Easiest thing is trying to get these exponents. If it's the fourth term, we're going to start with 14. The 14 is the highest exponent. 14, 13, 12, 11. If we count as first term, second term, third term, fourth term, should have that 11, that power of 11 on the first term here, which means that this has to be 3. Remember that these have to add up to, the, to be that total of 14. So now we've got these terms set up with their proper exponents. Now over here with the coefficient, we're using that factorial pattern. On the top, we're using the highest exponent, which is the 14, the original 14 of the problem, 14 factorial. And then we're placing both of these underneath as factorials, 11 factorial, 3 factorial. Now as we start to work this out, when we write out the 14 factorial, if you're not using a calculator, 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 factorial. The 11 factorials now will cancel. This leaves me with 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 goes into 12 twice. Then it's a matter of multiplying 14 times 13 times 2, which is any moment now. 364. Now if we start working these exponents out, that becomes x to the 11. This one, 3 to the 3rd, is 27. y to the 3rd is just y to the 3rd. Now we've got to multiply these numbers. 364 times 1 times 27. 364 times 27 will be... Any moment now, 364 times 27, 9,828. And I've got my x to the 11th and my y to the 3rd. So there's my fourth term in this expansion. So the second one, uh, number two, how many terms in the expansion of all of this? Don't get bogged down with this. You don't actually have to multiply it out. Remember that with when it's expanding, there's always one more than that highest exponent. 1 plus 23 is 24. That's all it is for number 2. Now number 3, this is going to be a long one. Uh, it says to expand this, which means we have to multiply it all out. That's my big long line for the answer. Now if we refresh our memory from 31.4 from last week, we did this big triangle. It was called Pascal's Triangle. We're, <coughs> we're looking for something to the fifth power. There's the fifth. That gave us this pattern of coefficients. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. That's what we're starting with. And notice again, like on number 2, number 2, there was one more than this for the no number of terms. Well, if it's the fifth power, that means we're going to have six terms. The 1 is in front of the first one, and there's two sets of parentheses for each term. The 2x will go in the first one, and negative 3 goes in the second one. The 5 was the second number in that list. There was a 10, and I'm going to add these together. Another 10, a 5, and then that last one. Now deal with those exponents. If we're starting with 5, this raising to the 5th power, the first term starts with 5, and we count down from there. So this first one is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. The other term then counts up. It starts at 0 and goes up 1 each time. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And remember that each set of exponents has to add up to that original 5. 5 plus 0 is 5. Good. 4 plus 1 is 5. 3 plus 2 is 5 and so on. So those are all set. Now in these first sets of parentheses, Every first set is this first term that we're multiplying out. 2x 
2x, 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 and 2x. The second one is going to match this minus 3. Since it's minus, we're going to treat it like a negative. Negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. Look for the zeros. Anything to the zero power cancels. Those cancel there. And now this is the hard part. We have to multiply everything out. We have to treat each, we, have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six multiplication problems here to deal with. This one's probably going to be the easiest one because we have the one in front. Two to the fifth power is 32. X gets raised to the fifth, so we're done with that one. That's good. Then on this one, now you have 2 to the 4th, which is 16, x to the 4th. We still have the 5 in front, and we still have that negative 3. So now it's a matter of multiplying 5 times 16 times negative 3, which is negative 240. So our next term is going to be minus 240, x to the 4th. On this set, we have the 10, we have 2 to the 3rd, which is 8, so you have 10 times 8, x to the 3rd. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. So now we're multiplying 10 times 8 times 9, which is 720 x cubed, that is positive. Once this negative was squared, it became positive. So we're almost done, we're halfway there. Let's see, this was for that one. Now we've got this one. 10 times 2x to the second raised to the second. So I'm going to put the 10 up here. 2x raised to the second is 4x squared. Negative 3 to the third power is minus or negative 27. So now it's 10 times 4 times negative 27, which is negative 1080x squared. Only two left. Now we've got 5 times 2x to the 1st times negative 3 to the 4th. Well, I know if I multiply these two, this is just to the 1st, so I can multiply this, that becomes 10x. So now it's just getting negative 3 to the 4th power. So that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is positive 81. Multiplied by 10 is 810x. And then the very last one is negative 3 to the 5th power which will be negative, because anytime I have the odd exponent, that negative stays with it, 243. And there, number three is finally done.